All right, everyone, we are back with another MapleStory M video, and let's go ahead and take a few minutes to talk about what could be coming next to MapleStory M, because we did have the Cygnus Knights level up event end recently. So those of you guys who got to level 120, congratulations, of course. If you didn't make it to 120, don't feel too bad. I play the game a lot and I did not make it to level 120 during the Cygnus Knights level up event or even during the original level up event. I was still a few levels away. So what's really going on in MapleStory M right now? Well, we have two events that are still running or finishing up, I guess you could say. We still have that Pink Bean event that's going on right now. We have a few days left. I got my Pink Bean to level 5 already and got all the rewards, but uh, if you turn in your Pink Bean meat each day, even if you already have it to level 5, you still end up getting those 10 minute auto battles. And we also have the Absolute Ring event, which came out a few days ago. I didn't end up making a video talking just about this event because I didn't feel like it was really worth making an entire video talking about this pretty simple event. It's very easy, it's very simple. We were given a ring and what happens is if you stay logged into the game for 120 minutes, you can go ahead and enhance the ring, level it up. As you can see, my ring is level four. This will be the next one. And you can get it to, I believe, a maximum enhancement of 12. And the cool thing about this ring is that it is permanent. So unlike a lot of the event rewards that we've gotten recently, the absolute ring is going to stay forever. So that's great. The stats are pretty good. It's not great, but it's okay. It's definitely not the worst ring in the world. Now, a couple of people are wondering, do the stars and the enhancement on the absolute ring, does it end up counting towards your star force enhancement? As you can see, unfortunately, it will not. Let me go ahead and equip my ring. I'm at 97 right now. Let's go ahead and equip it and I still stay at 97. So unfortunately, the Absolute Ring does not count towards your Star Force. Now, one little thing to also mention about this event is that you actually don't have to stay logged in in order to count to the 120 minutes. I know that's what it says, but if you are using your auto battle, it will still count towards the total logged in time, even if you do exit the game. But besides that, if you're not auto battling, you do have to stay signed in. So definitely make sure to claim your absolute ring. Make sure to still be feeding your pink bean, those pink bean meats each day, even if it's already level five so that you can get those auto battle timer. But what is next? What is coming up for MapleStory M? That is the question, because we really have not gotten too many updates or too much word of what's gonna be coming up. In fact, the developers of the game have been very, very silent, which is a little bit concerning. So there's not been a lot of word on what's going on. Well, we got one little tiny update today. If you actually go to the notices on the right side of the screen, we got the update for the login rewards for the third week of October. And if you take a look, a lot of the stuff is pretty similar to a lot of the things that we've had before, auto battle and, and tickets and experience leaves and stuff like that. But if you look the last few days, say TBA to be announced. So they actually have not revealed what we are going to be getting for the login rewards for the last couple of days. So this could mean two things. It could just mean that Nexon is very lazy and they don't know what they're going to give us. And they just, because they couldn't think of it, they decided not to put it on the list. Or it could mean that we're getting some sort of event or update or something fun and exciting coming up soon. And they didn't feel like letting us know in the login rewards because that would spoil the announcement of the update or event. So that's one little thing that we have going on. Another thing as well is I want to go ahead and talk about something that some of you guys may have forgotten with the expedition and this actually happened when the cygnus knights update came out well if you guys remember when the cygnus knights update came out we also for a very very short period of time and you might have even missed it because they took it away very very quick quickly we actually got the chaos difficulty for zach it wasn't out for very long people did complete it and it did actually drop a bunch of legendary equipment but they took it away from the game very, very shortly after, and they even took away the rewards from people. Man, imagine if you were to run Chaos Zack for a very short period of time after it came out, you got lucky enough to get one of the rewards, and then the GMs just took it away. That would be terrible. That's a nightmare I don't even want to think about. But they did take away Chaos Zack, and they took away the rewards that people might have gotten because it was a mistake and it wasn't actually supposed to come out yet. So we do know that that is going to be coming out to the game pretty soon, hopefully. So you could probably expect that at the very least, we should be getting that sometime soon because there really hasn't been a lot of stuff happening. And now that the level up event has ended, a lot of people are wondering, is there going to be more classes coming out to the game very soon? Is there going to be another level up event coming to the game very soon? Well, it is possible. We could be getting the next set of classes, the Iran classes. 
However, I think that this would be a mistake for Nexon to do so soon after the Sickness Knights level up event. I think that's a mistake for two reasons why, and I can't say for sure if Nexon is going to end up coming out with this event, but I can say that it's a mistake for two reasons because first of all, we just finished the Cygnus Knights level up event. That was a month of grinding, and a lot of people have been playing and leveling up characters for a very, very, very long time. It's a lot of pressure and a lot of work to get a character up to level 120. It's very, very disappointing if unfortunately you didn't quite make it to level 120. And after the original level up event for the Explorer classes, and now the Cygnus Knights level up event, both of them lasted for a month each, I think we probably need a little bit of a break from a level up event. I think there should be plenty of other stuff that we can end up doing, but maybe hold off on another month long level up grind event to get a character up to 120. Maybe wait a little while in order to do that. Now the other reason why I think that it's a mistake is I still think that there's a lot of issues and problems with the Cygnus Knights classes that haven't really been fixed yet. I know for a fact that playing my Blaze Wizard, he uses way, way too much mana. My Blaze Wizard goes through potions so fast that I can't even really play him that much anymore because it just the amount of potions that Blaze Wizards use is absolutely crazy. I think the Cygnus Knights still need a little bit of work. Their damage needs to be changed a little bit. Their mana consumption needs to be changed a bit, especially for the Blaze Wizard. And I know that Nexon ended up making that post from a while ago asking for people's feedback on the Cygnus Knights classes. They did this several weeks ago and we haven't really heard any update or anything about it. So. I don't know. Do you guys think that Nexon is not going to listen to our feedback? Do you think that they're planning on doing something? I think that if they do come out with new classes, that would be great, but there's definitely other things that they need to end up working on before they come out with a whole new set of classes. I don't know though. You guys are welcome to go ahead and disagree with me. So if you guys do, feel free to let me know in the comments section, or you can let me know in the Discord server or on Twitter. But that's pretty much the plan and what could possibly be coming up next when it comes to MapleStory M. So I'm also interested, what have you guys been doing in MapleStory M? What's your guys' plans? Have you guys been playing the game more? Have you guys been playing the game less? What do you want to end up seeing in the future? What would you be excited for? And what do you think would be a mistake if Nexon were to actually end up releasing it? So that's going to be about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And of course, if you guys did like the video, feel free to leave a quick like. It really does help out so much. It means more than you can imagine. And if you guys are new to the channel, of course, consider subscribing for more MapleStory M videos. I have been posting some MapleStory 2 videos as well. So to those of you guys who have been watching the MapleStory 2 videos, thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate it. Even if you don't play or aren't interested, taking the time to leave a like or just support, leave a comment, watch the video. It means more than you can even imagine. So thank you guys. I really, really do appreciate it. You can still expect plenty of MapleStory and videos coming out on the channel. It's just, I'm really hoping we end up getting some sort of, some sort of content coming to the game soon. So with that being said, thank you guys again one more time. Thank you for watching. And don't forget the October giveaway in the description. It says October giveaway. All you have to do is be a subscriber to the channel for two tickets. Leave a like or comment for one bonus ticket. That's a total of three tickets, three chances to win that iTunes or Google Play gift card. And with that being said, thank you. Have a fantastic day. And until next time, this is Salt of the Salty Guild, signing out.